Okay, so hi everyone, Kian Hao here. And today I'll be talking about the command packet config. All right, so um, first off, let's look at a man page, right? As with any command, if you want to find out more about it, it helps to look at a man page. So you see that the package config is a command that returns meta information about installed libraries. So for instance, if you have installed the OpenCV library, right? So if I go ahead and type OpenCV version, you can see that I've installed OpenCV 3.4.16. And let's just say I want to find out meta information about my installed OpenCV package. So I can do so by using package config and open CV. So if I go ahead and press tab, you can see that there's some autocomplete stuff. So there's open CV over there. And right now there's nothing outputting. So if I go ahead and look at the help page, right? You can see that there's a bunch of things, a bunch of meta information that I can obtain. For example, I can use a dash dash dips flag right, to output all the linker flags. And I can also use the dash dash c flags to output all the preprocessor and compiler flags. So I'll be using lips and c flags in this video to show you a quick example, all right? So if I go ahead and clear the screen and I type P pkg config open cv again, but I put in lips, right, then you see that these are all the linker files that, um, that lead to the library. Right. And if I go ahead and check out cflex as well, then these are the include folders, include directories that I must provide to the compiler if I want to compile with OpenCV. So in order to understand this in greater detail, let's look at a quick script called window test.cpp that I wrote. Okay, so basically um, this is a short piece of code that reads a file called starry night, right? And the starry night file is over here. You can see we have a starry night.jpg. Right, and if I do FTP open starry night, then we can see that this is the image that we're going to see later. We're going to open using OpenCV. So right now I'm opening using the operating system, right? But later I'm going to read this file and display it using OpenCV. So going back over here, um, it's going to read this starry night file, right? And then it's going to open a this using a display window using image show. So I'm going to need IO screen for that. Then we just have a short hello world program like this. And in order to compile it, right, I can try typing gcc window test.cpp. And I can put that O for the object file that I want to name it. In this case, let's name it window. All right, we see our first error and basically we needed to include the libc++ library. So if I go ahead and do dash L C D C plus plus, then that will link the STD C plus plus library that my window executable needs. So now I can go ahead and ls to see that I've created a window executable and I can execute it using dot slash window. And we see our hello world program run successfully. Okay, let's go ahead and fill the screen and edit our test code in order to include some open CV parts. So if I go ahead and uncomment that part out, right, then um, not forgetting the using namespace open CV, right, then let's go ahead and try to execute the same compilation command, right? But because now we are trying to include open CV, right, and we're trying to link to the open CV libraries, we have an error saying that we, the compiler does not know how to find these libraries and header files. So um, this is where package config comes in. So remember previously that we had package config. If we type cflex, then it showed us where to find the header files, right? Where to find the stuff to include in our code. So if we go ahead and include this part in our compilation flex, which I can do by copying and pasting, then we're going to see that there's still some errors and that's because we haven't done the linking yet. So let's go ahead and do the linking part as well. So I'm going to type pkg config open cv dash dash lips. And we're going to include this part as well in part of our compilation flag. And we see that we have compiled successfully. And we go ahead and dot run. And then we go ahead and run dot slash window. Then we see that we have successfully opened a window with the title display window, 
right, using OpenCV to display the starry night picture. Okay, sure, that is great and all, but what if I don't want to do the copying and pasting and having such a long command over here? That's where I can use the dollar sign, right, in order to automate this part. So instead of doing that, I can just do gcc window test.ctp test o window. This is the usual command we have. Then I can put the dollar sign and the brackets, and inside this bracket, I'll put my package config command. So basically, this takes the output of the package config command, right, and plongs it into the compilation command. So once again, C flex again, and we also can do it like that, combine it into one, and we see that that compiles successfully as well. So I hope that this video has been instructive about what a packet config command can do. Right, it can basically return you meta information about an installed library so that you can use this meta information in your compilation and you can use the library in your code. So with that, that's the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Have a nice day.